Hello all of you crafty silhouette users out there. Guess what? Most of you are probably already know, but I wanted to share that the new Studio 3.0.351 has been released and I love some of the new things that they've done. Okay, I just been playing with this for a short time and I will probably make more discoveries and um, checking into some of the bugs or issues that we previously had to see if they're working right now but I just wanted to share a few things with you I can't go through the entire list because there's quite a quite a lot of bugs and issues they addressed now for me I keep I've been using the studio v3 software since it came out and haven't had any major major issues I use I'm use the Windows 7 operating system and of course the designer edition I know that there are some that have had more problems than others and some Mac users that have had different problems from PC users but for me this has just been really some often awesome software I'm gonna click that out it always tells me my performance is low when I'm doing a lot of this video recording okay here we go one of the things that we used to do is we would control and click to drag and duplicate a shape now it's changed to alt and click and it will duplicate our shape but the control click hasn't been left out yet I'm going to go over here and fill this with a color and now I'm going to control and click on this color and it brings up our transfer properties or the eyedropper and we click there and there we go so now the control and click will bring up our transfer properties tool another little thing that I discovered yesterday while playing around with the new software is if I control and then use my arrow keys I can duplicate in whatever direction I place the arrows that I move the arrows so that is pretty pretty neat little shortcut there and one of the other things in the previous version I had problems with the nesting tool especially when I used my registration marks so I'm going to go ahead and do the registration marks for the cameo and I'm going to create lots of little shapes and I'm just going to gotta remember that alt key just to move them around in every direction and we'll even throw in one of these just for good measure and now when I go to use the nesting tool I'm just gonna go ahead and select all of this and I'm gonna go up here to my nesting tool and notice now we get that little box automatically around there we don't have to draw a bounding box it creates the perfect bounding box now all I have to do is go and select nest and it keeps everything with inside the boundaries so that's another neat way that they picked up on that too the couple of little issues that I'm still having I'm gonna go ahead and turn these registration marks off before I go into the next thing okay I'm just gonna leave this oval here before in the older versions we were always able to use our digital papers or patterns to um, fill in a shape and I was hoping that this new update would address this issue but like I said it already addressed so many different things and this is not a big deal and there is a workaround so I'm just gonna pop up some of my little images here and as you can see when I drag to drop it simply just brings the whole selected piece of paper and I'm gonna try something while I have you all on here I'm gonna send it back and select this and select this and I guess we can probably do this to modify and then crop yeah that'll work but I wonder if we can change the values on it so I'm gonna go over here to my fill pattern and go to advanced and see if I can scale the pattern this way 
and I can. So that's one of the workarounds. Okay, the other one is to create a blank document, and I'm just going to show you. I'm going to go File, Open, and we'll just choose my blank two there. And as you can see, when I save this, I just made a regular little square and uh, saved it. And so when I open it and I want to do things with lots of pattern fills, all I have to do now is go here, drag and drop, and it will fill that one. I can create other shapes. And I'll open up that pattern fill and we'll fill it with this shape. So that's another workaround for using those. Okay, and one more little thing. I'm just going to go to a new document. Before, I use HP 6500 series, but I could only scan by using the WIA scan. And now when I go to scan, scan, I can use the Twain. See how I have Twain selected up here? And I start my scan. Select Scan. And of course it takes a little bit of time, but I'm just so happy that it's working. And the reason why I like it to use the Twain is because I can do more when it comes in. And I'll show you that in just a moment. Here's a little... Um, oh my goodness, I can't think of the artist, but anyway... What, my mind's just blank. But anyway, I colored one of his uh, delightful little characters with some coloring pencils. And um, I was able to resize this shape here so I could just get a little square and I hit finish. And there we go. Now I can also clean it up a little bit more. By going right in here again. Whoops, well, let me draw it. Oh, okay. I guess my square lets it send it back. There we go. And now I can go to my modify tool again and go crop. And I got rid of all those little pieces I didn't want in there. So I have a nice little colored image straight from my scanner. And I'm happy. Okay, well, there will be a lot more discoveries as I go along, but I just wanted to get this done today to let you all know that those of you who haven't downloaded the Studio 3.0.351 will probably want to do so. Now, I know those of you that have still had problems and you're using the Legacy V2 software, stick with whatever you're most comfortable with, but I love the Studio V3 because of the many, many great features in the in new cut features is one of my absolute most favorite. Um, I personally would recommend people to try to try out the Studio V3 software because Silhouette is not going to always go backwards. Yes, they're going to leave the legacy version on there on their website for probably a very long time, but they're moving forward and we have to move forward, and by not moving forward, we are missing out on some of the really neat um, things that they have in this new studio software. Bugs or no bugs, I have really, really enjoyed it. Okay, that's all I have to say. Uh, oops, here we go, that little thing too. Okay, you all have a great day and happy crafting, and I'll see you on the Silhouette Plus forum or over at my blog. Bye now.